Today, we're gonna to talk about the new breakup board that we have in our site. Breakup boards are used to interface from the computer to each of the drivers that enable the motors to spin. You will notice several terminal blocks on the breakup board. Also notice the connector. It connects to your computer. There is a USB connector, but it's not used for data, but for power. You will notice this block here. This is the relay that controls all electronic devices that are hooked up to the CNC machine. Okay, let's talk about the terminal blocks. This terminal block is the relay. You have an in and an out for one of the wires to an electrical device. This could be a black wire, white wire, neutral, or an alive wire. When you put the wires through this, you will get a broken connection or a connection straight through, depending rather the relay is on or off. Usually the relays would be used to control the routers on the CNC machine. The next set of terminals is the terminal block here. The first one is ground, and then you have four limit switches. Terminals that you could use. You can have wire these switches in parallel or series. Parallel will be using the individual ones for each axis or each switch. If you just wanted to wire one, you can actually wire all the limit switches to one of these terminals and then you will insert or complete the circuit with ground. Now we have these terminal blocks. One, two, three, four, and five. And this is for the X axis, Y axis, Z axis, A axis, B axis. It can be any way around. You can change these if you want, but you can see that there's a configuration above right on the board to make it easier for you to confirm on Mach 3. This is the x-axis. You'll see it's labeled COM STEP DIR ENABLE EN. We won't be using the EN, we'll be using the COM STEP in DIR. You will also notice that these terminal blocks are not labeled, but follow the same configuration from the x-axis all through the other axes. First one would be COM step dir calm step dir calm step dir calm step dir now the wiring part from the calm we would go to the cp plus and the cw plus on a driver on the step the step would go to the cp minus and on a dir it would go to the cw minus and follow the same for each axis it would be important for you to remember that calm gets wired to both CP plus and the CW plus on a driver. So let's draw a small diagram for the limit switches. You have the ground here. That's the start. Let's just say we're going to use one pin here. So we're going to have to wire from the ground to the limit switch. The limit switch just has a lever with a ball at the end. The wire is connected to COM. C O M. There will be another lead that is called NC. It stands for normally close, which means it would be connection between the two normally. When you apply pressure to the lever, the connection would break, making the entire circuit a broken circuit. So that would allow you to bring all of your switches only on two terminals. There will always be connection. So when a switch gets pressed, the connection becomes broken. And that means the machine will stop working. Well, we established how wiring is going to take place from our breaker board to each driver. But once again, our COM is going to be wired to CP plus and CW plus. This is important to remember to the driver. Our step is going to be wired to CP minus to the driver. And our DIR is going to be wired to the CW minus on the driver. Now the drawing. To simplify the wiring to each driver, each driver is labeled. These are our drivers. They're labeled. CW minus, CW plus, CP minus, CP plus.
Now to make it fun, I'm going to use color to indicate each wire coming from the breaker board to its place on the driver. I'm going to start off with calm. I'm going to use red. I'm going to use green for step. And now yellow for DIR. Follow the same process if you have more axes to your CNC machine.